and I titled it uh, Pasting the West. If you go to the hashtag Pasting the West, you can see a sort of a collection of over the, over the years of the things that I've done. And uh, I just was really uh, into the idea of just being able to print something and put it on some somewhere and then just walk away. Maybe somebody will see it, maybe somebody won't. It's, it's photo, it's good for the photo. Uh, so I started doing that, uh, 2015, continued to go. And then I started, people started to kind of inquire about uh, private commissions, doing doing them um, in public spaces, um, and so I started doing those and in interiors, exteriors, you name it. Did some some people's vans and cars and stuff, um, and uh, yeah. So it's just kind of evolved into um, being included into some of these festivals, which has been really cool. Um, again, it's paper and glue, which is very un, you know not traditional. I'm not necessarily a muralist. Uh, I went. I have never really. I've painted a little bit with murals. I, I paint at home in my studio, but not on a large scale. So it's not something I'm totally comfortable with, and I prefer just to stick with paper. Yeah. yeah. So did you get your start more with painting or with digital work, making those images? Um, I actually, originally I'm just a mixed media artist. I uh, did a lot of drawing, painting, um, things like that. Uh, not even a ton of collage, really. So. Um, I sort of taught myself how to use Photoshop when uh, in 2013 I blew out my knee um, and it sort of left me, um, I was in bed for like two months yeah. and so I hadn't, like I wasn't able to work in the studio and so I just started teaching myself how to Photoshop. I was watching some old movies, um, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and uh, I just started importing tattoos into these like uh, film stills and it sort of snowballed from there as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So how do you choose the portraits or the images that you use for these murals? Are they celebrities that you liked or, or just for movies that you were interested in? Uh, just just the iconic, um, you know, just that iconic uh, imagery, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's stuff that we grew up with, stuff that we've seen since we were children. And um, yeah, a lot of it is personal, uh, favorite actors, musicians, things like that. Um, sometimes they're requests and sometimes um, I just I just stumbled upon an old photo that I really love. Hi. Mm -hmm. um, we've had a couple of people want to want you to reintroduce yourself because they've sure. sort of joined in midway. So okay. Hi, I'm Cheyenne Randall, and uh, I'm an artist, uh, one of the artists with Wide Open Walls this year here in Sacramento. Great. Thanks for rolling with yeah. it. Yeah. So I think a lot of people right now are struggling with trying to find things to do, and for artists, I think a big challenge of that is staying creative and staying inspired during this really weird time for all of us. Sure. What have you been doing to kind of push through uh, the, the weirdness of this time? Yeah, weirdness is right. Um, well, it's, it's interesting because in the beginning, uh, I would say like around February, March, moving into more of the early summer, it was, um, I went through a really sort of, uh, I felt the world's, you know, sort of empathic, sort of felt the world's pain and confusion and i was not inspired for quite a bit uh, i was actually sort of stuck and um a lot of that you know i went into my studio and i just sort of would sit there and just stare at the wall um i decided to buy a bunch of oil paint and a bunch of mediums and just teach myself how to oil paint i was like if i'm gonna be sitting here there's you know this year uh, 2020 i started off in los angeles in january with a large install at a hotel and, and we were hoping that this would, if we had some inquiries from some other hotels that were interested in it, just sort of put a stop to that. Yeah. So we had a, a, you know, this year was planned to just do a lot of installs, um, not sit around home. And uh, so I was like, well, if I'm just going to be sitting here, I'm going to do something. And so I started p painting with oil and um, never really painted. I'm not like a painter, you know, uh, disciplined painter or anything. And so I started doing that and... Um, I finished an oil painting and that sort of kicked started like uh, just the ability to just keep moving and get in the studio and um, but yeah it's been it's been difficult for real it's um, I haven't done a whole lot of wheat pasting over the summer or anything yeah. so this also was something that was really helpful in getting that going as well yeah have you found that the creative process of learning a new medium has kind of informed your your work outside of that at all um, I mean, I'm not so sure. I don't know. I, 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 the oil painting is so foreign to me. I mean, yeah. I'm still learning. It's I'll 
I'm, I, I don't even have any instructions. I'm not even sure if I'm doing it right. You know? It's a tough one. It is. I, I'm just making sure that it's like um, I'm not putting too thick a paint over over you know drying paint yeah. <laughs> or whatever. And, um, but uh, no, I don't know. They're two very different animals. You know, it's like getting out here and doing this is more. I'm from a construction background. I used to do a lot of uh, residential remodel. Mm -hmm. Um, I hung a lot of drywall, I've, um, you know, framed a lot of houses, painted a lot of houses, and uh, this apply that sort of applies to this a, a little bit more. There's a lot of measuring, there's a lot of planning involved, so. Very cool. Yeah. So, if you had like a dream wall you could put a mural on, where, where would you love to have a piece? What kind of wall? Um, you know, I'm, I'm working my way up. I, you know, I, the, this is probably up to scale about one of the largest I've done I did a re I had a residency at the uh, herd museum mm -hmm. in Phoenix Arizona and uh, those those were huge those were like some of them were like 50 feet big and I did an Audrey Hepburn that was like 50 feet and uh, so I've got I feel like I'm really comfortable working in large scale um, I would love to do something here in Sacramento a yeah. really big wall it would be fun to do a really big wall um, something outside of maybe the iconic, you know, Hollywood uh, celebrity and a little bit more artistic. Mm -hmm. I, I, I do a lot of mock-ups. I take a lot of photos of buildings and just sort of play with different imagery. It's hard to get people to understand, A, what wheat pasting is, yeah. and also that it's not necessarily permanent, um, that it's it sort of degrades over time. And that's that for me, that's sort of the, I like that. I like that it sort of fades and the paper will sort of start to fray. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'd love to do a big wall here in Sacramento. I've been living here for two years and I love it here. It's like, it feels like home already. There's a good community of artists and getting to know a little, you know, bit about that. And uh, yeah, so here in Sacramento would be great. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny that you say you have always liked working big because I think a lot of artists, that big hurdle is to go from kind of a canvas size uh -huh. to something this big right so it's cool that maybe like your construction background yeah. gave you that that already introduction to doing something with a whole wall yeah 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 Absolutely. that's really neat thank you um so if any of you have questions we can open it up type them in the comments and we'll try to fit this in i just wanted to make sure you know that you can ask some questions while we're here okay <laughs> so what is kind of the story behind what you added to this mural? I, mm -hmm. I'm sure you have to choose the tattoos and things that you put on Lucy sure. and her hubby. Yeah, I mean, I, a lot of times when I pick tattoos, I choose a lot of tattoo flash from like the 1920s. Um, you know, some of it's like uh, like from tattooers like Burt Graham and things like that. Um, these one, this one you can barely even see. Uh, it's just really faded, or you know, the original graphic of it's faded. But it's like a queen, and um, over here I've got. I mean, I just sort of pick like the standard traditionals. You got to get a rose. So he's got a big yeah. rose on his <laughs> neck. Obviously, I have a big rose on my neck. Um, for this one, because I'm in Sacramento, I chose. I, I stuck a crown on there for the Sacramento Kings. Um, I always I love crosses. I'm not a hugely religious person, but I love religious artwork, and I love. I mean, I've got crosses on me yes. um, and, uh, the, and then this tattoo that just says Lucy I'm home um, you know try to personalize it a little bit to the actual characters that, that they are yeah yeah do you feel like already being into tattoos helped inform your work or did it kind of go the other way around um, no absolutely I mean I'm I, I like to think that I'm I mean I'm pretty um, enmeshed with the with the tattoo culture I've got a lot of friends who are tattooers uh, I, I personally wanted to be a tattooer um, early on in, when I, in my 20s. Um, that didn't seem to work out. I just moved around a lot. And you have to have, you know, you got to be kind of planted and, and, yeah. and you have to have like uh, discipline. And I was just flying around all over the place. And, um, but um, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I collect tattoos myself and it's uh, placement of tattoos is, is a big thing. A lot of, you know, I've seen some people who sort of, try to do the the shop tattoos thing and and it's cool it's it's i'm 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 always supportive of anyone who wants to do something like this you know yeah. I'm, I'm always like keep going you know or i'll even give them hints like you know match your blacks or um you know things like that but um you know knowing how to place tattoos where they go i yeah. mean even even me even knowing like tattoos when i first started i was putting tattoos on upside down on the fists 
and um, you know tattooers would say hey you know that that wolf heads upside down right or whatever <laughs> and so I, I learned through that um, I learned through other tattooers you know I even learned through some tattooers being like dude I don't like that at all or whatever and I'd be like hmm and I'd, I really like kind of brought my focus in and tried to make it as realistic as possible yeah. and not silly I mean obviously some of mine are pretty silly some of them are crazy like the Elvis one this is a giant wolf on the side of the head um, so you know I like to kind of get a little surreal with it as well but yeah. we yeah. have questions we have a question we have two questions want to ask them yeah let's do okay one. so the first question is uh, the most important one which is where can they find this mural at this mural um, if you go to Gosh, well, it's it's Honest Engines. Um, if you just go to Google Maps or your maps and just type in Honest Engines um, or Honest Engine uh, or Honest Auto. Oh gosh, I'm I'm stumbling here. Let me look for you real quick. It came up when I searched Honest Engines. Honest Engines, yeah, yeah. and um, it's just an auto body uh, shop. So they close the gate. I think they'll be closing on us here in a little bit. But um, yeah, it's right across the street from Temple Coffee over by the co-op. And is this the only mural you have going up this year? Uh, no, I've got this one, and then I've got one up at B and W Liquors. Uh, it's a liquor store up on uh, Del Paso Boulevard. Uh, so if you go up and you see the liquor store, it's kind of a, it's a triangle building. It's kind of right to the backside of it. You'll see that one, and you'll see I've got an Elvis one. I've got a, like a 15-foot uh, Elvis over at. Um, What's the pawn shop name? Uh, can't remember. So I'm, t I'm terrible. You caught me off guard here. I'd have to look at it on my phone as we speak. I think w the Wide Open Malls website has an um, interactive map where you can find all but, the murals well, unfortunately, and part of it. Un yeah, unfortunately, the, the ones they have for me, so I did, I actually had a different wall um, selected. I had a uh, wall that I was actually going to do some paint work on oh. in Old Sac. Um, it didn't work out. Uh, the, the sort of the critiquing process uh, of my images that I submitted had to go through a committee and unfortunately they just they weren't into what I was designing um, so the address that they have on the wide open walls website is for down there so you won't be able to find it but um, but yeah Western Loan and Jewelry is the Elvis and um, and uh, if you go to my Instagram and you look at uh, my Instagram um, the geotags on them will tell you where they are. And what's your exactly. Instagram handle? It's uh, Indian Giver. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, got two more quick questions. Three, if we want to just keep going. Sure. Um, so, a lot of people are curious. How do you create works this large with the materials you use? Like, what sort of adhesive and stuff like that? Sure. Um, so, what I do is I print them out at um, at the your local um, print shop, uh, somewhere where you get you can make copies and prints. Um, and I print them out on their 36 inch wide, um, basically their, their blueprints. A lot of people use them for, to, for print their blueprints. Oh. And uh, so I print them on that and I use, it's all about formatting all your files on in Photoshop, making sure that everything's 36 inch wide. And then you gotta format it so that everything has a one inch overlay. Um, you get your rolls printed and then I come over here and I get a, I mix my glues. Um, it depends on the, how permanent you want it. Like something like this, I used a lot of uh, golden, like uh, heavy gel, medium. Um, that way the adhesion and then a little bit of UV uh, as well on the top of it. So you roll over it once you get it up too. Um, I'll probably come back at some point and roll another coat of um, some wallpaper paste mixed with golden uh, mediums to sort of give it another top coat. And do you create your own tattoos to go on these uh, works? Um, not this one in particular, but yeah, I do. Um, sometimes uh, I, I use Procreate now. Um, so like if you go to my Instagram, you'll, well, like the Sade one, for instance, that was all hand-drawn. Um, just looking at old photo or old tattoos and sort of just drawing them on with their pen. Um, but yeah, I do a lot of my own like hand-drawing uh, tattoos now these days, yeah. Okay, two more questions real quick. Mm -hmm. They're really easy balls. Um, do you have any additional pieces coming up in the future that folks should watch out for? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Nothing, nothing on the books. Um, I've got, there's a, no, nothing, nothing really to, to mention. I've got a hotel in Palm Springs that I, I did a wall down there. I did a shot a wall that needs to be, uh, taken down and then something else is going to get put up there. Uh, so that's at, uh, the Villa Royale. Um, but, uh, nothing major coming up now. And then your favorite urban artist. My favorite urban artist. Uh, yeah, that's really hard. I mean, uh, gosh. 
You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna just say that this guy, he's his uh, his his paintings are incredible. He's a he's an incredible oil painter, and um, the work that he does on large scale matches his oil paints. He's his name's Drew Merritt, and if you go to Drew Merritt, um, that's just his name on on Instagram. You can see his work. He's incredible. He does these hundred feet by hundred foot uh, portraits of women and their they're dressed in all these gowns with these really sort of like it's hard to describe but they're just beautiful paintings and they're he, massive so yeah drew merritt okay yeah if you just want to give your instagram handle one more time then i'll turn it over to you sure it's indian giver okay very politically correct these days <laughs> <laughs> all right well thank you so much for talking with us I, thank you so much for coming out here absolutely for all of you out there we'll be talking with one more artist madeline templeton on Friday at 4 o'clock right here on Instagram Live. Between now and then, make sure you're checking out some of the other programs Crocker's got going on. We've got a pop painting class for adults and then a few other things for kids and then things all week long for you to pop in and do and have fun with. Thank you guys again for joining us. We'll see you on Friday. See you later. <laughs>